Hey friends, it's Mike from Hillside Hives. Uh, I haven't done a bee video in a while. I've been actually busy doing other stuff and uh, I've been letting my bees alone for the past week. Um, and then it's rained for the past couple of days so I didn't want to go in the beehives. So I'm just gonna give you an update. One of my nukes, this nuke right here, is gonna graduate to a uh, regular deep um, hive body for our Langstroth. Um, I just want to give them a little bit more room. The other thing I want to do is I want to try to get them out. Remember, this is the one I started with my mini nuke, so I have mini frames. And I'll show you those mini frames when I, when I bring them out. But I need to start getting the bees off of them, and I need them to start laying on other frames. So I have some drawn comb. Already, that I'm going to put in here. Try to encourage the bees to start using that and laying in that. And then I can get those mini frame ones out of there because I want them out so they're not being used. So I can use them again next year when I'm in Pennsylvania for a queen mating. Um, that's all that those mini frames are gonna be used for. My mini nukes, I realized after I'm glad I did both models, I don't have my skinny mini right here, but my skinny minis that I had um, done, made, versus those cute little mini nukes. I'm gonna do a whole video on it, but I really like the two frame skinny minis because you don't have to change the frame size at all. So. Sorry, my neighbor's mowing. He always mows the day I want to do a video. <laughs> um, I have everything ready to go. I have my smoker right here. I have my bale right here. We're going to go in without a bale on this one because there's not as many bees. We're going to see how they act. If they get a little bit rambunctious, we'll just put the bale on and smoke them a little bit. Again, I'm not going to smoke them. I don't like smoking the bees unless I absolutely have to or if there's a lot of them or I need them to move. I don't think we're going to need to, so let's go into this hive and see what's going on and get them moved over. My fancy, you can tell... I don't know if you can tell my fancy entrance reducer is basically just little three little logs. I like using stuff from nature. Sweet Jesus. There are a ton of bees in here. Yeah, it's time for this. This pipe needs to be moved. There's a lot of bees. They need some more room. bees that were on the roof they're telling me hey I need room I need room to grow and they built some comb on top which is always an indication that they need more room so let's get in here and get some of these bees out my good lord they're doing so great they needed more room see they started building these up because they want more room let's put this in here let's give them that room they need This little bee on this drawn comb, I want to throw out, but she's in there. She's like, no, I can't. I got to do my job and get a little bit of that honey out of there. <laughs> See, I have uh, had babies hatch in there. So there's um, babies that can't see fresh eggs, but there were babies that were in here that hatched. See, here's one of those here's one of those mini frames now see there's a lot of eggs on there there's a lot of babies um, larva in here the queen's still laying on this so what I need to do is move this to the outside so they stop laying on this and there was space see what they did on over here there was bee space between these and they made the whole comb of their own if that's if they fill that with honey, that's going to be like a honey lollipop. Now oh, they got bees in there. They got baby bees in there, so I'm not going to bother it. Again, look at how all these, they're growing like crazy in there. All these eggs, larvae. This queen is a good queen.
So here's the ones that were connected. Here's my mini frames, mini frames, regular frames. And I still have some bees left over in here that I gotta take them, tap them in here, and then get rid of this and move this whole, I gotta get rid of this and move this whole thing over. Cause look, there's still bees going in here cause they think that's their home. So let's put you back where he is. We hope the queen's not in here. I didn't really look for her. I was busy doing other stuff. So quickest way to get all these bees in here is to just tap it down gingerly. I'm gonna set this up here so they know to come back to their home. are coming back to here because they think this is their home. Let's give it a shake. There's some dirt on it, but I'm not tapping it too hard because there's dirt on it. It's up here. Now what I want to do is I want to move this whole thing over so it's more in line of where they were. We already have one little girl here saying, this is our home. She's fanning, saying, here's where we live. You can see all these girls flying around here. They went back in their home. I'm upsetting everybody. So let's get them back. And let's get this closed up for a while. Get, you said that this is their home. I'll just leave it like this for a while so they can get in there. They're doing a little orientation. Where are we in the world? And then we're going to go over and do it to in this hive. This it's interesting to have a couple different hives because not as many bees in this hive. Um, they look healthy, but just, just not doing as well as that hive was doing with the tons of bees that were in there. So we'll just keep an eye on this hive. This hive just needs a little bit of tender loving care, needs some room to expand, and we'll keep an eye on them. Um, I think that's about it for today. I'm gonna go and do some others. I might video some of my other hives and show you how my skinny minis are doing up above here. But until then, I think this is it for this one.